Hello everyone, it's Carrie. Today I'm going to show you my favorite way to make a quick background. Now I have these clarity brushes here and they are still some of my favorite tools that I have in my craft room. I feel like with the new makeup brushes that have come out, which I love by the way, I still love these clarity brushes as well. And I feel like these clarity brushes have been a little bit forgotten but when I want to make a really fast light beautiful blended background I reach for these clarity brushes every time so I have here some Nina solar white 80 pound paper and it blends these distress inks very beautifully so I use this paper the clarity brushes and look how quick it is to make just a simple background so fast but I wanted to add a little more pizzazz to this background and so what I'm going to do is take that same Distress Ink and I'll use, well actually I'm going to use the Picked Raspberry, which is a little bit darker than the Sponge Sugar, and I'm going to just splatter that on with a paintbrush and an acrylic block. Now I do want to warn you <laughs> that you probably want to clean your area a little before you use the splatters or use it in a box just above me which you can't see off camera here I had two cards that I had just finished making and they were beautiful but I got some splatters on them here I have a pineapple die from paper smooches and I've cut it out of chipboard and I'm just going to tape it on the back so that it all stays together this is going to be the base layer for my pineapple and I'm taking the Xyron sticker maker and I'm putting it face down in the sticker maker so that the front of the pineapple is going to be completely covered with that adhesive. See as I pull it off you can see that it turned it into a sticker. I'm just going to get rid of some of those little spidery veins of the sticker maker here and this is what I'm going to use to make my pink pineapple. So I've cut it out twice once with a satin mirror foil paper that I just love and another with a glitter paper and I'm just gonna use the the satin paper as the outline and then the glitter paper as all the inside pieces and I wanted his eye and his mouth to be black so here's a little trick I take some liquid adhesive this is my favorite adhesive right now it's the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive and then I have that pineapple there that I've cut with some black paper and I'm just going to use the retractable craft pick to put on the eyes and the mouth. Just that simple. So here's the pineapple and what I want to do is cut out a frame using a rectangle die. Before I cut that rectangle die I want to make sure my sentiment will fit. So this is the fun and flirty stamp set from Paper Smooches and I'm just gonna check and make sure I want to use the one that says a happy hello and it looks like it's going to fit so I'm I will go ahead and take this rectangle die to my die cut machine and just cut that right out I'm going to use the mini misty to stamp my sentiment because even though this was a really quick background to make I still don't want to mess it up <laughs> so that misty really saves me to make sure that I get it stamped evenly and a nice good impression. I am going to use VersaFine Onyx Black Ink, which is a pigment ink, and so it will take embossing powder because I want to clear emboss this. I did use my embossing buddy there before I stamped this so that I won't get any stray embossing powder in places I don't want it. And then I will just stamp that out Add the clear embossing powder over a scrap piece of paper and then I'll funnel the remainder of that embossing powder right back into the jar. So easy to do and then I will heat set that sentiment. I did let my heat gun warm up just a little before I took it to the paper. To pop up that center piece I have die cut some fun foam with the same rectangle die and I will add that using some score tape. I find that score tape is really great to use with fun foam because it is really strong and so it'll keep that paper attached to the fun foam. 
So there we have what it's starting to look like, but I thought it needed a little more tropical vibe. So I'm going to take this Botanicals One set from Paper Smooches and I will stamp out a few of those images. Uh, I did take another piece of Nina Solar White and real quick I, I used that Clarity brush to add the scattered straw on there because I wanted it to look like the same background as the one I had already made. So I'm just going to take a few of those flowers from that stamp set and I will stamp them with Distress Oxides in a variety of colors to match my card. It's just real simple to build up a really cute tropical vibe here using these stamps. This leaf here I think looks kind of tropical. So I used, uh, what is this one? Shabby Shutters. And then I cut that all out and there you have a little more tropics for this pineapple card. I really just want to take a little trip to Hawaii right about now. <laughs> I'll glue that on with some liquid adhesive and then we'll take the pineapple and put some 3M foam tape on the back and pop that right up onto the card. These cute clouds are also a paper smooches die that I just love and I'll just attach those with some liquid adhesive as well. Now it's time to put the card together and I had a little epiphany. I thought what if I turned that frame upside down and it just adds a little happy pop to this card. I love it when that happens. Right at the end even. So we'll just continue to put this card together and there you have it. A really cute pineapple tropical card with a quick background. This card came together so easily. I hope you enjoyed this process and I hope you'll give it a try for yourself. Here is some close-up looks at this cute card. I also have a few videos here that you may be interested in. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to see you back here again. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.